Are you wondering how to design your own embroidered hats online at ScreenPrintAZ.com? Well, it's very simple. Let's do one, shall we? All right. Let's assume you're on the custom embroidered hats page right here. You just want to go right here first to choose your hat. And notice these are $12 hats and these include embroidery on the front panel. Okay, let's open this up, click on this, and it's going to take you to the store page of Screen Print AZ. And what you want to do then is you'll choose a hat style that you're looking for. All right. Now, you'll see that there's many different options, okay, depending on your particular end use. Like maybe you're running a security team for a concert or you're uh, having a special promotion or an event or you're using these as giveaways for a major sporting team. But for the sake of this example, let's go with the typical trucker hat. And let's say you're bear claw trucking, okay? And you want all your truckers to wear a hat that's going to be bright in case they have to get out and chain up or something like that. Well, let's take a look here. What do we have? This one looks good. Let's choose this. And once you choose your $12 hat, you'll be taken to the actual spec page here. And you'll have two colors or more to choose from. And since these are trucker hats and we want them bright, okay, let's choose yellow. And notice how this will change right in here to yellow. Okay, so let's say uh, truckers getting out of the truck and this hat's going to be rather bright. See that? Okay, let's go back to orange. Bright orange. And let's uh, start designing. Okay. You can choose from a template. However, let's go to create your own design. Now, why do we want to do that? Well, when you go to create your own design, you're going to be able to access these templates from create your own design. So let's choose create your own design and let's design a bear claw trucking cap, shall we? Okay, you're now entering the design studio. All right, let's go first uh, right here. Let's say you already have a logo. You may upload your logo right here. But let's go ahead and find a something, maybe a bear claw for bear claw trucking. So we click on Add Art. Now this is where those templates are that you would have seen on the first uh, uh, screen. So let's choose Clip Art. And you're going to see all these areas of different clip art showing up. Okay. Well, let's go down here. Let's go find something here. How about maybe mascot? See what's under here. See if we can find a bear claw for a bear claw hat. Okay. Let's look down here. Let's keep going. What do we got here? Search for claw. Here we go. What do you think? Bear claw. Wow, there's a bear claw. So let's grab this one. Okay, notice that's right on the hat. Now, let's go ahead and maybe make that just a little smaller. See how you're just grabbing an edge and you're holding the mouse pointer down on the left side and making it smaller? What do you think? And then you may click on it and move it down some. And notice that pink area. It's a little hard to see, but that's your design area. You want to stay within that. So let's move that down. See the center line? It's on center. Let go of the mouse. Click inside there. So far, so good. Now, let's add some text. Let's click on Add Text. And let's call this Bear Claw. 
Okay, let's move it up. Notice the mouse, hold it down and just move it up like right about here on the hat. What do you think? So far, so good. Now, let's add some more text. Click again. Let's add trucking. And we'll go in here, see the mouse, and let's pull that down some. Okay, that's the base there. Let's pull the top up a little more, and let's move your Bear Claw logo a little bit more in the center. Perfect center. See that, uh, those crosshairs right there? That's perfect center. Let's move it up just a little more. What do you think? Huh, what else may we do to dress this up? Well, let's choose Bear Claw. Let's go here. And now you'll see you have different type style options here. You choose that. Now let's go down here to shapes. Okay. Let's choose this. Let's see if we can get an interesting shape. How about this? See what happens. Choose that. Let's take a look. See that. Let's see if we can make that taller. Right here. Whoa. Okay. How about that? Now let's grab trucking right here and let's go down here, shapes, and let's do the bottom base like this. Let's choose this, click in our canvas, and let's, let's drag this up some. Whoa, all right, <clears throat> what are you thinking? Is that looking good? Okay, let's move this down some, make that a little bigger. And how about that logo a little smaller? Let's reduce that some so we got some good balance. All right, then let's just drag this down here, or we may go in here and nudge it. Watch, click the down arrow, see how it nudges it, and let's nudge this down some. Take a look, almost, and let's move this down, nudge it down just a little more. And let's nudge this up a little more here. See how I'm putting the up arrow? Almost looks like a good geometric shape, well balanced. And there you go. That's bear claw trucking. Now you may play with this. You may make the letters smaller, bigger. Uh, you may even go in here and you may even change the uh, color uh, if you choose to. Like maybe uh, bright gold. See how that looks. Woo. That might be a little too bright. Well, we always do an outline, okay? If you want to do a black outline, go like this. Take a look. See how it's got that little black outline showing up? Okay, let's make it bigger. Ah, four. How about a four? Look at that. Is that cool or what? Okay, but let's... uh. Keep it simple, we can go back to the black with no outline. Notice the colors are saved up here, so let's just choose black. And let's remove our outline. Take that down to zero. And there you go. You just created a simple uh, Bear Claw logo hat for your trucking company. And like I say, you can play with that, move these around, change this letter style, make it smaller and make it bigger, and do some really cool stuff. But for now, uh, trucker gets out of the cab. I mean, that's a bright orange cap. Don't got to worry about him getting hit or someone's going to see him or her. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And you might want to share this. Let's say there's a couple other uh, people that want to see this and, and have a say. Go ahead and click Save and Share. Now, when you do this, you're going to be asked to open up an account. And you'll just simply put your name in there, your last name, email, and then you choose a password. Okay. Now, let's say you already have an account. You simply log right in right here. So, why an account? because you want to save this um, for, uh, let's say, you log in, you share the design. Okay, let's make this bigger, let's make this smaller. How about change the color of that? Then you'll have your artwork or your design will be saved right inside your uh, uh, account. And one thing about the account, 
that's private and secure, and it's yours. So you come back later on and you want to create more designs, you may, you may upload as many designs as you want, okay? And you may save them. So let's say everybody likes the hat you come up with, you go ahead and it's saved, and you want to reorder some in six months or a year, you know exactly where it's at and how to find it because it's already in your account, okay? So go ahead and open an account, and then... You'll proceed to check out, and when you check out, you'll land on a page like this. And right here, there's your color, okay? And then you'll choose, uh, let's see, the quantity. Let's say you want to get 30 of them. Just scroll up here to 30. Then you'd hit continue, okay? And then, since we didn't sign in or create an account on that last page, you may also register an account by clicking right here, or if you're a returning customer, you go ahead and log in if you already have an account. Or if you want, you may check out as a guest. However, you won't be able to save your designs if you do that. So it's really recommended that you register your account and then click continue, okay? And then as you continue, let me, let's log in here. I already selected the color and quantity. Right, notice uh, have an account, so I logged in and logged in. So it's asking, skip the login because I'm already logged in, and it's asking for a design. So I'm going to call this Bear Claw Trucking Hats. See that, and then continue, and then I'll say view cart. But this way, now next year, when you come back or in six months or after someone approved it, you may have. 12 or 15 different designs. You might have t-shirts, other things, other types of hats, bucket hats, uh, personalized hats, things like that, right? You'll know exactly what type of hat it is because you're able to design it under the design name and name it, okay? And then as you're checking out, you just hit continue and you'll just follow the directions. It's really that simple, okay? And there it says, items added to the cart. And there they are, right there. Okay, 30 of them, and they're 12 each in the unit price. And then everything's just self explanatory. And notice this is secure. Check out um, with the latest in uh, online commerce software security. So you go ahead and check out, and um, these will be shipped to you and ready or ready for pickup at our plant here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, give us a call right here at 480-788-0303. Let's say you have a large order. Let's say you want, say, 300 of these hats. Uh, we'll get you a good quote on that. And if you want help in designing or something like that, call us. Or if you want, you can simply get a quote. All right. And that's how it works. It's rather simple. Then you proceed to check out and just follow the directions. Uh, may this be uh, helpful, and uh, look forward to see what the designs that you come up with for your custom embroidered hats today.